The following video has been approved by the JD marketing team. It is rated JD for intense use of the word damn and many beaver related puns. This video may not be suitable for all beavers. Good morning and g'day mate. Welcome back to another episode of Dimba Born with me, JD. More importantly, we have no droughts. We have no droughts today, uh, which is a very, very pleasant change. But today's episode, today's episode, we need to find beavers and we need to go over and grab this new district. So we we start the game off really, really slow speed uh, because I'm going to pause that building, which is going to give 16 unemployed beavers. And we are moving them straight across to district five, it turns out, because I haven't renamed it yet. Um, yes. Yeah, when I send them over to District 5, uh, that gatherer flag is very useless because every blueberry is dead. And District 5 has, well, they've got logs, they've got water. We did manage to ship them over some water and they have some food. Yes. Okay. So we did prioritize their systems. Uh, we're actually going to now, we have so many of them. Uh, make sure they're prioritized and they're prioritized. Also going to make sure I don't give a damn split. Uh, Clint Eats Wood and Well Traveled Beaver also come over and help. And hopefully we can get a new colony up and running. Now, we have a couple of objectives. Uh, if we bring back up uh, this lovely dialogue, we need to get water running. We need to get wood chopping. Uh, speaking of that, cut trees. Uh, if you see a tree, cut a tree. Pretty much is how this district's gonna roll. Uh, okay, so we need to grab our tree cutters, get them up and running. Uh, actually, let's change those to lower priority and that to lower priority as well. Yeah, let's get the wood choppers up and running. Uh, also, priorities. We didn't put, I thought if we put in a farm. Uh, yeah, farmhouse, it's probably important. Um,. Let's go with here. Plant crops, everything from there to there will be carrots. Okay, so hopefully we can get, as I said, water up and running. That'd be nice. Uh, need to get the lumberjack flags up and running. Uh, there we go. We've got one. Oz Beaver's going to come and start chopping some wood. Excellent. Because, uh, yeah, we have unemployed beavers, and we might as well get them to work. So we need wood. We need water. We need food. We need to get this dam in place. Uh, also, we want to build this mega dam. Well, it's a mega dam. It's 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 a decent sized dam. That should block off all this water. Which should mean that this district should not, should not have any problems when a drought comes. That's the hope, at least. Uh, in the meantime, the main district. Uh, the uh, district one. I thought we gave it a name. I'm sure we named it. Okay, whatever. I'll have to look it up. Uh, the main district is, well, chopping trees, uh, planting, tr not planting trees. Unpause that. Uh, planting trees. When a beaver, baby beaver does grow up, are they going to start planting trees? Oh, 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 there was another thing I want to do. In the main district, uh, decorations. Scarecrow is 10 paper. Yes. And a scarecrow should give them. Uh, the beaver statue upgrade, which if we mm, click on a beaver, a we have uh, a shrub. I don't have roofs for some reason, even though they sleep under a roof every night. But maybe they don't sleep that much. Uh, but beaver statue should give them another 5% working speed. So we're going to try and get that. And a, you have a two-tile range. So if I put one there. Ooh. Can I... Can I put it up here? Hang on. Uh, two tiles. Two tile platform. Sure. And uh, we'll pause the game real quick. And... Where are we? Uh, decorations, Scarecrow. I can put it in there. So if I put it down here, I think there's two tiles, which doesn't mean that it doesn't reach these houses. So we're going to put one in here. And then I'm going to sneakily put one right here at the edge of the map. That'll cover the rear houses as well. Uh, we're going to up the priority on you and on that whole stack. I, I'm assuming that Scarecrow... Like, you're going to walk up... The beaver's going to walk up the stairs. And then they're going to turn around. And they're going to find a Scarecrow staring at them. 
Yeah, we're just going to scare the death out of the beavers. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, meanwhile, we are slowly uh, pumping the, the, the river dry. At the same time, we are slowly building in our giant levee wall. It's going to take the beavers some time. Um, I also need to work out how to get pumps in here. I'm pretty sure I have a pattern that works. And we're going to need multiple layers of pumps as the water level goes down. But that, it should be fine. It should be fine. At least I hope it should be fine. I think it'll be fine. I think it'll be fine. Uh, but yeah, they need to build this. This is going to take them a quite some time to get built. But that's perfectly fine. Actually, I wanted to look at pathing. Uh, I want to plan ahead. And I should... Uh, if I remove that path, should be able to put a bridge from there to there. Perfect. That's how we're going to get over the dam wall. Um, I'll need to build something behind it. But, you know, for the moment, I just need to get everything built. So, that's the main district. As for the brand new district, uh, we got the lumberjack flags running. That's it. Didn't get water running. Uh, where are we up to? You're at 10. You're at 12. Oh, they've gone and started building the dam. Okay, fine. Uh, finish the dam. Yep. Then work on the... I put the farm down there. I thought we put in a farm. Uh, cancel all of that. Plant carrots there there uh now another thing i'm gonna have to do fairly soon in the brand new district is we're gonna have to well water storage water storage is gonna be a thing uh we're also gonna have to get um an ability to plant more more trees because yeah these are gonna disappear fairly quickly anyway um with that said i think we're gonna just jump forward in time wait for morning see how far we get main district has well, building lax workers has eight children. So we do have a population coming along. Oh, they have no food. Wow, we're shipping out too much food. Um, how much does this district have? Not a lot either. Yeah, food could be an, come an issue. Well, we've got the new district up and running. Uh, as you can see, it has a farmhouse. As you can see, we have a dam in. As you can see, there is absolutely no water because the dam is still filling up along with the whole back river which means this river actually dried up entirely. I might not have thought this part through. So our choices are demolish the dam, wait it out. That's pretty much it. Pretty much it. Uh, and side note, we have got a builder's hut up and running. Uh, I have dumped down a whole bunch of water storage. Uh, just to get water storage up and running, because that's also going to be pretty important. Uh, we are down to zero unemployed beavers, which is not a good sign. Uh, we're also going to have to give them housing. I may not have thought, thought through all aspects of this new colony. Okay, this area is dead and will always be dead. So let's go with... I don't really want to go for big houses. That holds nine, that holds three. That's 35, that's 12. Ah, we might be just building these and wasting the timber. Yeah, no, I'd really like to build the big ones. Um, okay, just check. That is the edge. We can't build any further out. I can build a path out here, not that it matters. Uh, all right, we're going to build our housing. Where's their food? Well, we can build food storage right beside them. And water's there. Yeah, I guess this is close enough. All right, we're going to build one, two, three. Uh, okay, one, two... Remove that. Uh, hook up a path. And... Okay, so that is stairs... To the next level up. 
and we're going to bring that to there and we're going to have to look at the priority system so what is our current priorities uh just the water tanks okay water tanks maximum priority uh this path next priority this path zero priority because that's 9 18 27 beavers 27 beavers we only have 16 here that's probably enough to get us started and technically we don't have a food source yet and realistically food is not great the beehives are hopefully helping uh, i do also want to in the main district whack in yet another water tank uh with max priority all right get to it beavers really a drought already okay okay well the, the, the mega dam hasn't gone in um okay we're gonna have to probably build a farmhouse over here i don't really have a choice you are now maximum priority uh brown priority yes and plant crops carrots everywhere here and storage warehouse right there max priority uh one less priority yes uh, meanwhile, this district has had a beaver die off. I think. I think we lost the beaver. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah, we need that farmhouse like yesterday. Oh, that's still going to take four days to grow. Well, look, the water's dammed. Oh, hang on. It's flowing. It's flowing. Uh, unpause. Busy beaver, get busy. Start planting. Like, it's going to flow straight out. We are screwed. This this is this is probably a bad choice. All right, new morning. In theory, boom, first one's in. So in theory, we're gonna get these houses up and running uh, and storage. Uh, that literally just needs to be sniffed for twenty five percent. That needs logs. Logs are not an issue. We aren't shipping over logs. We are technically. Um, let's not ship over logs because the main district is actually worse off in logs. Uh, so, we're going to get these up and running. Eventually, we're going to finish chopping what we have here. So, I do need to do something about planting some trees. But then again, we also have a drought coming up. On top of that, uh, we have no children. Oh, actually. No. I think it would be cruel to ship children across districts. But I am considering it. Just for the record. Uh, we did get extra farmhouse up and running. Hopefully, they're going to help plant. Um, they have got carrots in here and hopefully they're, they're now over here harvesting. Hopefully, yeah, that's looking like it's fixing food. But it also means I cannot let any of this dry out. Um, like that. Okay, so you're going to provide water to about here. If this is full of water, you're going to provide water to about here. I think... I think I need another water dump. Well, according to that, I need a water dump here. Uh, so let's just get that in. So that's the answer. Uh, we're going to have to remove that one for stairs, uh, those four for uh, actual levees, and then uh, put our water dump on top. That should keep this whole area irrigated. Uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Yeah, it, it, it's... Maybe that one last tile won't be irrigated. But it should work. Should. Uh, meanwhile, our brand new district... Uh, we're going to have to give it a name. Please, comment section. Name, name, names for districts and also names for beavers. I'm going to have to go back through the comment section and find out what we call the original district. Because um, I know we named it, but it seems to have gone. Uh, okay, so you have food, which is good. Uh, actually, you know what? Plant crops, food. Go nuts. It might not all survive. Yeah, it's only one day planted. 
Might as well. Uh, you're also planted. You know what? Beggars can't be choosers. Plant everything. Uh, they are now able to have children, which we, means we should be able to get this population a little bit higher. Uh, there is no way we're going to get this dam finished in time. So we're going to finish off the last couple of water storages. But 200 water for even just 20 beavers on hard difficulty is not nearly enough. Not nearly enough. Uh, and back to the main district. They have... Where are we? Uh... I have 1700 water. They're probably okay. In fact, they're probably so far okay that we're going to remove that to put in yet another water tank. Because uh, I like me water tanks. Uh, yeah, so you're done. We need stairs. Uh, with landscaping, levy, levy, levy. And then a water dump. Oh. You won't let me put it over a tree? Okay, assign priority max. All of that, please. Uh, yes. And they're harvesting an alright rate. But food is still crap. Um, I might have to set you... You are prioritizing p potatoes. We'll also have you prioritize potatoes. Uh, water storage... Come on, pull up that, there we go. And again, set you to maximum priority. We have some gears, we have some planks that should get done fairly quickly. Uh, yep, there we go. Uh, water, water dump, right there. Max the priority on that as well. It needs planks. Actually, no, we have planks for a change. There you go. Um... And you have zero unemployed. Okay, so we've planted everything we can. We have started building the giant levee wall. It's probably going to be a drought project. Okay, I, I'm... Well, actually, it all depends on how long the drought is. And whether the district survives or not. Drought started. Nine days! That's actually better than last time. Can't argue with that. Okay. Uh, you have zero unemployed. But you're getting there. Okay, we're going to migrate... Four. Four beavers across. That should top up our workforce in both of those. And probably going to be past time. Actually, you know what? We're going to play dirty. We have another lumberjack flag in there. Max out the party on that. And we're just going to rely on our cutting skills for the moment. Because I, I do need to do something about planting trees, but I'm trying to... Yep, you're a waste of time. Um, what's that? That is maple. Okay, wood. Uh, lumberjack flag there and there. Max the priority on those. At least they'll get up and running. And 23 timber. Yeah. Alright, they'll get up and running. They should give us a bit more wood capabilities. Okay, so we have Bob the Water Dumper. Uh, just got a brand new job, and that was to dump water right here, which should stop these carrots from drying out. Mm, okay, that blueberry's done for. And those carrots from the looks of it. It's not quite in range. Not quite in range. Uh, but we do, like I said, we do have Bob. He's hard at work. Uh, he's dumping water. We've basically swapped everything over to water dumps. It does mean, and this is my one catch, I don't actually have any way of pumping up any more water. So it's something I do have to keep in mind. Uh, actually, I just noticed if I remove that. I can put Evil Beaver over here instead and have them pick berries there instead and put in another giant water tank. Like I said, I like my water tanks. Uh, it does look like we've got mostly on top of food. We are at only 100 food. As long as we can keep planting and keep harvesting, we are okay. I think they're keeping up with what we've planted. At least it looks that way. Uh, as for the new district, well, they are still... 
mooching off the main district um, on planks, which is okay because we're not really using the planks. Uh, no, sorry, wrong district. That district. Uh, Mooji off the main district on planks and on berries and on carrots. Um, they have their own water supply. That's probably the only thing they've got going for them. Uh, actually, so we only build one of those at a time. So if I grab small water tanks and just put them all along here uh, with a priority of never and set that for a lower priority. Well, it was... Yeah, just brown priority. Okay, uh, grey priority, rather. They should build the dam first this second, in theory. In theory. Uh, did that one target re removed? It did. Uh, if I put a gatherer flag there, we're going to... Evil Beaver has nothing to do. We're going to rip that up. We're going to get rid of those, and I'll definitely put another tank in there. Uh, we also have, in the main district... I do have three unemployed beavers. Uh, I don't need to turn that back on yet. Yeah, we're going to turn on those. So the main district is back to population, basically. They're, they're going to end up with a few children that have spare jobs. Um, so they're doing pretty okay. New district is up to 26, 27. Really? Oh, there's eight children and of course children haven't leveled up yet uh actually we could probably help that out with a uh campfire if we leave children unintended in front of a campfire they should level up quicker uh speaking of other things that we should probably look at doing oh, is beavers get a boost for a temple Working speed plus thirty percent. Also, a labor mon monument for a working speed of twenty five percent. So, in the main district, uh, temples one hundred and twenty wood and forty forty planks. We could probably afford that. Yes, and I want to put it right beside the housing. Uh, how big is that? Uh, five tiles. So we're going to cancel that, make sure it doesn't get replanted. Uh, they've just been planted, so they're going to get ripped up. Okay, and as for the busy, busy beavers themselves, if we, I'm intentionally going to pick one under the roof. So if we get Spanky Beaver, we can see has the worst roof bonus in the world. Okay, but has a beaver statue maxed out and a shrub maxed out. But the roof bonus just doesn't seem to go up. And, like, they should all foreign beaver. Uh, also has a crap roof bonus. It seems like the roof bonus is just either really, really hard to get, or, like, they have to work under a roof as well. I don't know. But, yeah, it's pathetic. Um, I'm probably going to cheat. Cheat. Uh, exploit a system where if we put a roof there and put a temple beside it, they got a roof bonus whilst they're praying. Praying to the gods for more water. Alright, in the second district, surprisingly, we did actually have the carrots survive long enough to, to, to grow up. Uh, this little dam here has actually proved us well. The big dam, not so much. Um, every single carrot has dried up. Uh, it, it did get half grown, like 45%. 8%. Yep. Yep, they got, they got halfway there. Uh, we do have children leveling up slowly, very, very slowly. We are going to have to look at this district and decide how we want to set it out. So, we have natural green area. And I want this district to basically plant a lot of trees, sort of up to this point, And feed that into this district. Um, maybe this district will be a little bit closer. I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Technicalities that we haven't really decided yet, but... Do want a district here that's going to be a manufacturing district. Um, also, this district here is going to need its own manufacturing. Like, I'd love it if they made their own plates and their own this and that. So we should probably start working on that project, which means I'm going to come into here and... Yeah, first things first, we're going to put a path there. I'm going to remove you. We're going to put in power... A cross shaft. Uh, also going to get a another wind turbine. 
And actually, I'll probably put you there. Perfect. And there, 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 and there. Whoop. There, and then um, bring the power shaft along. We're going to remove that. Because we have a zigzag there, we can then path over the top uh, and put the drive shaft underneath. And actually, I should look at when the next windmill is. There, there, there. Uh, I'm not sure about you, actually. Or... No, that's three tiles. No, we, we can build stuff straight onto this road. Uh, okay, so we're pretty confident to there. Except I want this to be the priority. We've still got six days. Yeah, I, I still want the dam to be the priority. That can be a backup. Um, obviously, the main district can get out here and build this stuff as well. Uh, they at least have no planks. We do have 140 water, uh, with paper. What's paper good for? Explosives. We should maybe start investigating explosives. All right, we've chopped out all the trees. Uh, so on with the side projects on the side projects. Can we get a temple in right there, please? Which is gonna take us a minute to get done because that is a lot of planks. Insane that we do have some planks, it turns out. So that she can probably just throw all the materials in this and get it done at the same time. Monuments. Yeah, we can't unlock a labor of monument. We actually need more science. We had a lot, but we've spent a lot recently. So, yeah, catch me too. Do I want to... Okay, so things that I need coming up. We're going to need 300 science for a shredder. And... Landscaping. 400 for an explosives factory and another 600 for dynamite. Yeah, we're, we're a little bit short on the science front. Uh, but food is finally, finally going up, sort of, uh, in both districts. This district is harvesting its own food. Oh, it's harvesting its own food. Stop shipping food. Oh, that'll probably make a massive difference. Okay, there we go. All right. So this district, uh, the new district, district number five, which needs a new name. All right, I decided, I decided, I, I appreciate those people that have already gone down the comments and already made a suggestion for the new district. Uh, but this is going to be the sacrifice district. Because even though we've survived, our water level is getting lower. Um, it's still got six days in the drought. This district is far from stable. Uh, it has no spare beavers at all. They're all damn children. They are not leveling up fast enough. Uh, and technically we still need to get foresters in to start replanting some of the stuff we're chopping down. So I actually need more population, which means... Actually, we're going to need more things. We're going to need a farmhouse. Uh, let's put you... Let's do farming across the river. Okay. So we're going to need more food. I'm going to need to ship over paper. It's no brainer. We need to have the beehives. Which means we need planks. Which means we need this drivetrain done. Which means we need more housing. Okay, uh, labor. No, uh, housing. We're going to need a house here, here, and here. It's decided. We, we, we need to bolster our numbers. Uh, on top of that, we're going to need more water pumps. A lot more water pumps. Uh... Yep, we'll get some more water pumps in. Um, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully that's enough to sort of set things up. Uh, we're set up to work on the levee first. And then if we have spare building time, we'll get to work on the other side projects. Because uh, they all require population, which we just don't have in this district. Hey! Okay, so we've got our temple in. Funnily enough, it does have a roof bonus. So we have a temple with a roof, which is a good sign, I guess. On top of that, uh, the main district has actually zero unemployed beavers. 
But water's starting to get lower. Um, we're down to 700. Uh, we should maybe survive the drought. Um, I actually haven't opened the levee walls at all. So we're literally just running off tanked water. Which is what I'd prefer, honestly. On top of that, those uh, big levee walls are slowly getting there. They, they are taking time due to the leg day and the stairs. Logs are heavy, okay? But I'm carrying two logs at a time. Two logs at a time. He's starving. He's got a lot of stairs. He's got to go up to carry all those logs. But we are getting there. As for the new district, the new district has seven unemployed beavers. Uh, yeah, about that. Um... Okay, if we've got seven unemployed beavers, let's bring a road up to there. Yeah, we can now cover all that area. Uh, I have a district here that does powered stuff. Okay, this is not irrigated, so I can't plant trees there. But I can plant trees... Start with a forester. Okay, uh, a forester and plant trees, maple, always the maple everywhere here. Uh, I don't think one forester will be enough. In fact, I'm pretty sure it won't. So I'll actually throw a second one over here. Now there's a good chance I'm going to end up irrigating a lot of this area anyway. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll get to that. Uh, meanwhile, the big dam is almost complete. It's definitely going to be completed before the drought season finishes. And our farming is doing okay. Obviously, I'd like to have the other farm up and running. Uh, yeah, we're just letting the beavers get on with whatever they decide to build. Which at the moment is uh, windmills, it turns out. Lots of windmills. We still have building lights power all the time whenever the wind stops. Which is half the time. But, you know, we're, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. We've got two days left. Two days left on the drought. Main district is down to just 300 water. So, I think... It's time to drop these levee gates. Uh, as you can see, we still have at least like two tiles of water in the dam. Uh, there we go. That'll start letting water out. Hopefully it's enough that we'll just get it in here and we'll start pumping it out. At the same time, we've started setting up the next water tank because why not? Uh, we also have a couple of like storage tanks that I put down in sets of three that are potentially doing nothing. Uh, we're going to cancel that tile. So I'm going to move the gatherer flag over here again. Uh, also, uh, small things that are annoying. Yeah, we might as well put actual food there. And we're going to empty... Well, delete those three tanks whilst they're empty and those three tanks whilst they're empty. And put in... Mm, a large tank there and a large tank there which are both going to need a path and we will set you so you're going to be priority one you're going to be priority two you're going to be priority three the beavers will get that done eventually i'm really hoping that that's going to be enough water outright um that the colony is just stable we can just fill up the lock have it overflow have it fill the river pump fill everything, and then I just don't have to worry about it anymore. I, I, I really want... I really want a way to say, look, when this is full, automatically shut these gates. That's what I really, really want. But that doesn't... There, there's no way to do that, obviously. Uh, meanwhile, we have our first forest in. He's going to start planting in some maple. Uh, funnily enough, maple... Let's oh, birch. Oh... Oh, that's worthless. That's maple. And the uh, Mega Dam. Mega Dam is almost... Like, it has all the deliveries. We just... Oh, no. It hasn't, doesn't have all the deliveries. It's it, it's getting there. It's getting there. We've, we've only got a couple more to go. Unfortunately, these are pathetic be beavers. So they carry one log at a time because they don't have... They, they don't have potatoes. They have potatoes. They do have a lot of harvesting to do and not quite enough man power to do it. And water's so far okay. Uh, actually, it's better than okay. It still has a decent amount of water in this giant river structure. So we're probably okay. We're going to survive a nine-day drought in the Sacrifice District. Any longer than that? I don't know. I don't know. And we just had it. Last tile went in. The dam is now complete. Which means 
we can have these beavers get on with other tasks. So if we bring up the building priorities, we're going to get a couple of houses in, just, just a few, along with some more water pumps, obviously a forester, uh, obviously another farmhouse that should stabilize the sacrifice district, which means I'm a little bit sad. I was expecting to kill off at least a half a dozen beavers uh, in this particular episode. But it also means uh, I want to continue with you and you. Uh, definitely continue the power drive train thingy across. Can I? Yes, I could. Okay, so we're going to plan ahead. Uh, I'm going to put the paths in, in case we bring the drivetrain through. I don't think we will, but one thing I definitely do want in this district is I want our own ability to make planks. At the very minimum, I want planks. Okay, uh, also, they're probably going to need a bit better storage solutions, but we'll get there bit by bit. We've got one day left on the drought. I'm pretty sure we're going to make it with, with, with flying colours and skills to spare. And I thought we'd have a different view. A different view for the end of the drought. We've made it through the whole drought. Now, did things go well? Eh, they did. Nobody died. Well. Mm, no, I actually don't, don't even think we had a stranded beaver. No, of course we didn't. So nobody died. So, yeah, we did do well. That's about all I can say for it. Um, Our lock... Didn't have, definitely didn't have enough water in it. We've gone through most of our water storage, 500. Um, in fact, I'm not even going to raise the gate on this. I'm going to let this flow out so we can start pumping it pretty much straight away. Uh, you need to be unpaused. We obviously have a tiny bit of a beaver shortage in the main district. I have added in some more plank machines so we can get a little bit more plank production. When the wind's going great, we've got production. But when the wind's not flowing, um, yeah, production is bad. Yeah, so we're, we're getting there. Uh, as for the sacrificial district, well, now the drought's over. This river's going to refill back up, which will then flood down here. Which means our farmhouse should get up and running. We do have a second farmhouse as well. Which should even out their food, because their food is not great. Uh, we have a lot, like a lot of... Uh, what are you receiving? You're receiving planks and you're receiving nothing. So we're going to start shipping over definitely paper. Uh, planks, paper, and logs. Yeah. Because uh, this district is obviously going to need its fair share of beehives as well. Um... So yeah, I'm going to set up some beehives. We also need to set up a lot more water pumps. And if we can get enough production here, I'd maybe like gears as well. Because gears are our one shortfall. Like, we, we built this a couple of days ago. It's only 14 out of 20 gears in. That's zero of zero. That's zero of zero. Gears are our real shortfall. Um, and it's partly because, well... They just take a long time. That's what it really comes down to. Uh, planks are way easier to produce. Also, it doesn't help that I only have two machines running it. But, you know, it's... it's. If I have more than... It seems it's about five plank machines to one gear machine. So, I do need a lot. And I mean a lot of... I'm going to take timber off shipping stuff. Uh, I need a, 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 a lot of uh, plank machines to cover one gear machine just to keep the production running. But we did get a temple. Uh, we now have level 8 happy beavers. Uh, some have roofs, some don't. We do have a temple. Not all of them. Oh, because we have no relaxation time. Yeah. We, we need to get also away from a 20-hour workday. 20-hour workday is obviously costing us. Um, but I don't see a good option. Um, at least not for the short term. But with all that said, uh, and a brand new district up and running, I think we're going to be calling it here. And we're going to come back next episode, continue setting up this district, possibly. Uh, plant, maple. Uh, you guys are about to run out of things to chop. Uh, can I? You are set to chop that. You know what? If you can reach it, chop it. Uh, actually. We're going to have a whole new chopping district. Uh, 
Yes, we're we're gonna start harvesting everything. That's probably gonna eat into where we we're gonna put our next district. Maybe we won't chop that just yet. Yeah, we need to get tree planting up and running. Actually, what does this district need? Okay, I'm gonna end the episode here. I'm gonna think about what this district is gonna need, what the sacrifice district is gonna be all about. Um, in theory, it's just planting a whole bunch of timber to run the next district here. But I need to get a... Another... Actually, I need to get a district over here, really. Which has no water source. Oh, you do have a water source. You have one. No, that doesn't go out. Okay, so you have one water rock. Two, three, four water rocks. Uh, nothing from there. That's all stagnant water. So it has four water rocks. And two exits. Again, if I can get over here and I can dam this up. We could have a wonderful little district over here. And potentially, I could even get some water wheels in here and get some water wheel power because we just let the water run through after it's backflowed all the way. Um, yeah, same with this. I might want to get some water wheels over here as well, uh, which technically is probably going to mean I need water wheels on platforms. Anyway. Things to decide for the future. Either way, we're going to call it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. I will see you in the very next episode of Timber Board. Oh, oh, oh. Very, very important. Very, very important. I do need to mention it. Uh, I do need to mention it very, very quickly because their names are on the screen right now. Thank you to the patrons. Thank you to the patrons who are not only supporting the channel, but also at the same time, they need to watch the videos a day before you guys do. Yep, you know, for a grand total of $2 a month, $2 a month, you can support the channel and... Every day, you get a daily treat over at Discord where you get to watch the whole the, the video a whole day early. Anyway, that's it. I'm now out. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.